Welcome to a tour of Notion Second Brain. In this video, I'll show you how to use the template and I'll walk you through each of its features so you know exactly what it is that you're getting. So this is version 2.0 of Second Brain. And um, once you download this template, this is the first screen that you'll get. So this here is your main dashboard. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll start off with the quick capture buttons and then I'll go into each of these folders and I'll show you exactly what's in each one of those. So starting with the quick capture buttons, we've got four buttons here. We've got add new task, project, resource, or note. So let's go ahead and add a new task and we can give this a name. So we'll just call it new task. Um, now, because we're just capturing this item, we can leave these details blank for now, or you can choose to add in some details. It's entirely up to you. Um, but we'll leave that blank and we'll head over to the inbox. Um, and as you can see, that capture task has now appeared. Um, so within our inbox, we've got all captured tasks, projects, resources, and notes. So to process a captured task, you simply want to open up its page and we can begin to add some details. So we can assign it to a goal. So let's just choose this one, for example. And then we can assign it to a project. So let's choose this one. Um, now we can give it a priority between high, medium, or low. So we'll give this medium priority. And so for this task to leave our inbox, we need to assign it to a date. So let's uh, select today's date. And as you can see, that's now left our inbox. Now we've got two other checkboxes here. We've got um, a checkbox for completion and also a checkbox for archiving the task. And then down here, we've got parent items and sub items. Now projects, resources, and notes work a little bit differently in that for this to leave our inbox, we have to change its status. So by default, it's set to inbox. Um, so all we have to do is select any other one. So we can go ahead and select not started and that's now left our inbox. Resources work the same way. However, you change it to uh, either it needs to be reviewed or it has been reviewed. Um, and then finally, we've got notes. And with notes, you can uh, change it to a draft note or a final note. Okay, so that's our inbox. Next up is our areas folder. So here is where we can separate our projects and goals into larger areas of life. And this is particularly useful for separating our personal life from our work life, from our educational life, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so I've added in some examples here. Now these are fully customizable. You can choose to add in uh, new areas, or you can change to existing. Um, each area will show the total number of goals assigned to that area and also the um, progress towards completing those goals. So if we go ahead and click on this area, um, we can see all of its assigned goals and uh, projects. And then we can also assign, um, we can also add resources and notes. And this is useful because we can access all goals and projects directly from the area. Um, and to do this, all you have to do is click on this open button. Um, and as you can see, we can now see all the details related to this goal. If we scroll down a little bit, we can actually take this a step further and then we can open up the projects and tasks uh, related to the goal. Um, but we won't do that. So let's click out of there. Um, so yeah, that's our areas folder. Okay, so next up is our goals folder. So here is where we can set all of our goals for the future. And as you can see, each goal will show the area that it's assigned to, as well as the target year and target quarter for completion. And once again, we've got the status, which can be toggled from the dropdown. Um, and we can open up uh, any goal to view its details. And again, we can see its projects and tasks. Uh, so let's click off of that. And as you can see here, we've got all of our tasks, but if we scroll down a little bit, we can actually sort these by status. Um, so we can stop by those that are not started, those that are in progress on hold and completed. Um, and as we scroll down a bit further, we can actually sort this by their target date for completion. So we can sort by the quarter or the year. Um, so if we go to our quarterly tab, as you can see, we've got Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Um, and you can drag and drop these around if you want to change the date quite easily. Um, and if we go to our yearly tab, then obviously we've got 2024, 25, 26, and so on. Uh, so that's for viewing more of our long-term goals. Below this, we've got a timeline. And here we can visualize our upcoming goals as well as the ones that we're currently working on. And we've got a monthly tab and we've also got a yearly tab um, and that just gives us a better perspective over the year. Um, so that's our goals folder. Next up is our projects folder. So here is where we can view all of our projects um, and similar to goals, we can view the area that's been assigned to as well as the status. And um, we can view the tasks that are remaining for this project as well as a progress bar for completion. So if we open this up, uh, we can view all of its details and we can set an exact start date and end date if we scroll down a little bit, again, we can see it's a related task as well as resources and notes. Um, so here we can view all of our projects, but we can also sort by those that remain in our inbox. Um, below this, uh, again, we can sort by status. So that's not started, uh, in progress, on hold and completed. And then below this, we have another timeline. Next up is our task folder. So here's where we can manage all of our tasks. And as you can see, each task will show the project that it's related to, as well as the priority and date. Um, and then we also have a checkbox for completion. Um, so all tasks are sorted by their priority first and then date second. And then once again, we can also sort by those that remain in our inbox. Um, below this, we have a to-do list. So we can sort our tasks by those that are due today. And this is a task that we added earlier. Uh, we can also sort by those that are upcoming. Um, and that just means within uh, the next week, um, we, have, we have those that are overdue and also those that are completed. So to complete a task, you simply want to select the checkbox. And as you see, our new task is now under the completed tab. 
Below this, we have a calendar for viewing our tasks for the week, and we can edit our tasks directly from the calendar, as well as take them off as completed. Uh, we can swap from a weekly view to a monthly view using the database tabs, um, and then obviously you can swap months by uh, using the arrows on the top right. Okay, next up is our resources folder. So here's where we can store all information such as web links, and we can organize our resources into different topics. So each topic will show the total number of resources assigned. And if we open this up, we can then access these. And then once again, we can open these up by clicking on the button. So here we can view all of our resources. And as you can see, each resource will show the topic that it's related to, as well as its status and last edited time. Um, and then we also have a checkbox for favoriting the resource. Um, so once again, we can also sort by those that remain in our inbox. And below this, we can sort by status. So that is um, those that are to be reviewed, those that have been reviewed, and also those that have been favorited. So to favor a resource, you simply want to select the checkbox. And as you can see, this has now entered the favorite tab. Next up is our notes folder. So similar to resources, we can organize our notes into different notebooks. And each notebook will show the total number of notes assigned. Um, and again, we can open this up to view its notes and access them directly. Um, below this, we can view all of our notes, and then we can also sort by those that remain in our inbox. Um, each note will show the uh, notebook, the last edited time, as well as the status. And then we can also pin notes. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can actually sort by um, status. So we've got draft status, uh, those that are uh, final, and also those that are pinned. So to pin a note, you simply want to select the checkbox. And this will now appear under the pin tab, as you can see. So that's our notes folder. Next up is our review folder. So here's where we can carry out a weekly review. And the first part of this is to review the past week. So we can toggle the dropdowns here. Um, and so here we have all projects, tasks, resources, and notes that have been added to the system within the past week. So this allows you to see what you've worked on and what still needs doing. Uh, the next part is to archive and clean up. And here is where we can find all completed items. And this allows you to view what's been completed and what's no longer needed. The next bit is to prepare for the next week. So here's where we can find all items that remain in our inbox still. And we can go through each of these tabs and begin to process captured items. Okay, next up is our archive folder. So here's where we can find all archived items. Now to archive an item, you simply wanna um, open up its page and you'll find a checkbox um, for archiving it. So we can select this checkbox. And as you can see, that's now left our goals folder. And if you go back into the archive folder, um, here it is. So we can now see it. And you can do that for any one of these. So that's our archive. Next, we have our databases folder. So here's where you can find all source databases used throughout the template. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, changing these unless you're trying to change the template yourself. Um, so that's databases. And lastly, we have our five lifestyle templates. So the first one we have is we have a habit tracker. Now each of these have their own tutorial, so I won't go into too much detail, but here's where you can track all of your habits um, and you can track your percentages um, for each habit as well as your progress for each day. And below this, we have a calendar. We've got a weekly calendar and we also have a monthly calendar. And you can check these off directly from the calendar and the progress bar will fill up. We have our journals. Here is where you can create journals and we can add entries to them each day. There's a whole bunch of templates to choose from, um, each with different prompts. And then below this, we have a calendar for tracking our consistency. Then we have a meal planner and here is where you can save a whole bunch of recipes and you can plan your meals for the week. Um, you can also create a list of ingredients and also a shopping list. Next is a book tracker and here is where you can store all of your books and you can also track your progress towards completing them. Um, you can organize books into different genres as well as different authors and you can also save quotes and quotes can be sorted by those that you have favorited and also you can sort by different books as well. And lastly, we have a budget tracker and here's where you can set up your income sources as well as various budgets. And then below this, we can track our income and also our expenses. And then you can sort this by month also. Okay, so back on the dashboard now, here's where you can find all key parts of each of the folders. Um, so starting with our areas, uh, then we have our goals, which can be sorted by status. Uh, we then have our projects, we have our to-do list, and then we also have the calendar uh, beneath that. Um, and then lastly, we have our resources and we have our notes, which again can be sorted by status. Okay, so that was a tour of Notion Second Brain. I hope this video helped. And if you want to get this template, then there'll be a link in the description below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.